yes, I finally made it to Monaco and it is absolutely spectacular. Look at the view behind me. This is unbelievable. I've been wanting to come here for probably decades now. I finally made it. And what really pushed me to come on this trip was because if you listen to my last video, you'll know I was part of a major watch auction, timepiece auction here with a very rare Patek Philippe wristwatch with the most unbelievable backstory and history behind it. So the auction went down last night. It was incredible what the watch brought. I figured I'd show you a little bit of the, the sights and uh, I figured I would show you some of the sights around Monaco while I'm here. It's been a very busy three days. This is my free day today. So I figured I would do some video and show you the beautiful views. Like this is just breathtaking. So again, here we go with another episode and it starts right now. Tell you what, even though it's really cold today and rainy, it was the wind that was super insanely cold. And like I said, I don't know if I told you earlier, but my suitcase didn't show up on the first day. It's on its way though. I had to go buy a sweatshirt. Um, man, it's just so cool here. It's so neat uh, being in Monaco. Definitely a destination I've been wanting to come to for a long, long time. And uh, there's so much to see here, I'm sure, but I'm only here for four days. But uh, gorgeous, gorgeous Mediterranean waters. Cool, cool storm clouds coming in way out there. No doubt what brought the rain and the cold wind, but tomorrow should be great. It's not stopping me though from exploring. Look at that bug. The amount of amazing automobiles here is insane. Crazy exotics. I haven't seen any real crazy hyper cars yet, but the night is young. For those of you that follow the channel, this is just a video. You know, there's no purpose to this video, just other than showing you what it's like in Monaco. So far, there are some unbelievable yachts here, but I don't think we've seen much yet. There's some massive, unbelievable vessels parked in the famous port here in the heart of Monaco. This is unbelievable. Look out there. Look at that. Now that's crazy. Look at that sucker, Jesus. Man, my buddy, Mr. Steve, had a 98 foot sun, sun seeker, I believe. 98 foot sun seeker. I think that was about four million or four and a half million. These are massive. There's some massive crazy boats here. I, I'm not a boat fanatic, so I couldn't tell you one, I saw the Lamborghini boat earlier, just like Conor McGregor's, but honestly, I don't know half of these what I'm looking at. 
So it's still cool as hell though. That's cool. That's more my style right there. There's a Crimson Ghost. No rush it's called. That's a guy just walked right by me that looked exactly like Super Dave Osborne. <laughs> I started laughing when he looked at me. That's cool, isn't it? Smelling the sea and walking by all these damn cafes. I need to get some good seafood. It's driving me insane. So I gotta find a place to eat some lunch. I'm starving. But before we go any farther in this video, I'm taking you right back to this harbor tonight. Here's what it looks like at night because you've got to see this. I have to show you this in the video because it is just awesome. Check it out. Here's the view from my lovely room here. Not too shabby, huh? Drink my morning coffee out here, overlooking the little beach and the swimming pool. It was really cold yesterday, so there weren't many people out, but I'm gonna have to go down there today and check it out. Get some lunch, some cocktails. Did I mention the Ferraris yet? You've got to see the Ferraris. The amount of Ferraris in this town is crazy. And another one. They're everywhere. It's absurd how many Ferraris drive past you per hour in this town. Oh, oh wait, there comes another one. Jesus. Like every minute or two, you see a Ferrari go by. Here comes another beautiful one. One and two, yes. Everywhere, folks, like I said. Yes, I'm here for the amazing auction with all the amazing watches they're going to have. But hey, I'm in Monaco. I really need to see some badass cars while I'm here. So check this out.
Some of you may recognize where I'm at in parts of these photos and videos. Yes, the very famous Monte Carlo Casino. Um, that is the one from GoldenEye, where James Bond was playing in the beginning. When he first meets Xenia on a top face-to-face, Pierce Brosnan, yes, this is it. Also, Never Say Never Again, I believe, was also filmed at the Monte Carlo. This casino, I've been to a lot of casinos all over the world. This one is unbelievably beautiful inside. And they don't let you take pictures inside. So I had to snatch a couple of photos off the old internet to show you how beautiful this casino was. And it was incredible. Um, at night, it is a crazy exotic and supercar car show like every single night outside so lots of people gather around to see all of these amazing cars coming and going the people that are you know driving up in them and going in to gamble you don't know who's gonna be pulling up but my god the women the cars it was just out of this world um yeah i drank a vesper cocktail a martini Vesper Martini, everyone's like, you gotta get the Vesper from James Bond. However, one big mistake a lot of people make is this is not the casino from Casino Royale. It was not filmed in Monaco. That was a whole different place. It was a fake casino, but this is not the casino from Casino Royale. But they do have a Vesper Martini here. It was actually, it's not half bad, <laughs> as, as Bond said. But there's better things to drink. Anyway, I was playing some crazy James Bond machine. I, I left there that night up 3,000 euros, so I could not complain. That is pretty damn good for, a, for gambling at a casino on the French Riviera. But my God, look at those cars everywhere. I was a kid in a candy store and... Uh, it just reminded me of how much harder I have to work once I get home because I need something exotic. It's one o'clock in the morning and I'm finally leaving the famous casino Monte Carlo here in Monaco. Oh my God, what a night. You should have seen the amount of exotic cars parked here. It was crazy, 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 crazy. There's, there's still a few stragglers, a few stragglers but there was an ungodly amount of crazy Ferraris and uh, you, you name it, it was here. Except for, I didn't see any Bugattis, but anyway, still some awesome cars hanging out here. I am up, up, up about 3,000 euros, which is great. Better than down to nothing, but uh, the amount of the amount of amazing stuff here is out of this world. Now I'm gonna take a walk back to the hotel because I have a big day tomorrow. Yes, big day at the auction. Auction starts at 2 p.m. Monaco time, but I have to be there around 9 a.m. to uh, do some things and hang out with some friends that are here. So I'm gonna go back. What a night, it was amazing. Lots of crazy cars, which you will see me uh, post in my pictures. And then I gotta go to sleep. I'm not even tired, but I have to, I gotta go to bed. All right, good night.
What's up everybody? So, as you can see, I've made it to Monaco for the big auction. One of the most exclusive timepiece auctions going down this year. Yes, sir. And I'm proud to be a part of it. The Patek Philippe is on display in the center of the case is in there. There's a ton of beautiful watches, lots of great vintage Rolex that I'm drooling over. But this auction is going to start within about an hour and uh, I really have no idea what it's going to bring. My hopes are up, of course. My hopes are high, of course, and uh, I've researched similar pieces out there, but I could tell you this, none of them have the provenance or the backstory that this watch has. So it's going to be really exciting to see what it does. I mean, it was on the wrist of Amelia Earhart, so not many people could say they've had a watch that she owned. Um, although there is another one out there, a Longines, that's in the, uh, maybe in the Smithsonian. But uh, this was her other one. It was gifted to her. If you've heard, if you've heard, if you heard me tell the story on one of my other videos, um, it's quite amazing. And uh, it's all going down today in beautiful Monaco. And uh, my God, it's gorgeous out. It's a perfect, perfect day. And uh, my fingers are crossed that this watch is gonna go pretty high. So we'll see.
Here we go. Been waiting all day for this moment. Move on to lot number 90. Uh. Temporary importation. Mm -hmm. Patek Philippe. Fresh to the market. Very important. And extremely rare. Cushion shape. Single button. Split second. Chronograph is watch in yellow gold. Vertical registers with Patek Philippe service and extract from the archives. Former property of Sir Henry Seagrave, record setting British racer. We start with a lot of interest at 500,000 euro, with me on a commission bid, and is against you all at 500,000 euro. And the advance at 500,000. 550,000, 600,000, back to me are 600,000, 650,000 left seat, and 700,000 back to me, 750,000 front seat, and 800,000 back with me, at 800,000 euros, and your pants at 800,000 euros, and your pants from seat. New leader with Andrea on the phone at, at, at 800,000 is with me. <laughs> Looking for 850. 850 with Andrea on the phone. And 900,000 back with me at 900,000 euros. And your pants at 900,000 euros. And your pants from Sydney. And your pants are Sydney. New meter at 950,000 euros. I see it. And 980,000 back with me. 1 million, I see it again so now at 1 million euros. And your pants at 1 million euros, I see it again so. And your pants at 1 million euros. I see that is leading at 1 million euros now. 1 million 50. 1 million 50 without the phone. And your pants at 1 million 50,000 euros. 1 million 100,000. I seated ahead of you, died on the phone. At 1,100,000 one At 1,100,000 one now, I seated ahead of you, died on the phone, ahead of you, front seated, and ahead of you, back seated. Come on. Any events? And ahead of Andrea from Bill as well. Who's next? 1,100,000. 1,120,000 without on the phone. And advance at 1,120,000. Yes, sir. And advance at 1,120. 1,150,000. I'll see that ahead of you, David, Andrea from Leader, front seated and back seated. 1.2 million. 1.2 million without on the phone. Ahead of you, I see this. At 1,200,000. Take your time. One million two hundred fifty thousand. I see. Any advance at one million two hundred fifty thousand. One point three million. Thank you very much. One point three million. We got it on the phone. Have a little light seated. You can take your time as well. At one million three hundred thousand. David from Builder is leading at one million three hundred thousand. Any advance? At one million three hundred thousand. One million three hundred fifty thousand euro. I see it again. I see that is leading ahead of David from Builder at 1,350,000. One million at 1,350,000 euro, I see that. 1,400,000 one million four hundred thousand with David from Builder. And you know, I see it. And you advance, I see it. Fair warning.
So there you have it. Wow, what a ride from purchasing this watch, getting the restoration done, and now finally selling it in Monaco, learning its crazy history with Seagrave and Amelia, and actually I'm kind of sad to see it go, but being a part of it here in Monaco was absolutely mind-blowing and what an experience. Perfect ending to the perfect day. This is uh, my current view for lunch. Figure I would show you guys just how amazing it is today. The perfect, the perfect wine, <laughs> perfect wine, the perfect weather, a great view. The view on the other side is absolutely mind blowing, but this is where the cafe was. So not too bad though. I just had exquisite octopus and waiting for my main course. And then I don't know where I'm going from here, but uh, my God, what a day. It is, it's, uh, it's perfect. The perfect day in Monaco. So, signing off gonna go have some fun probably get some gelato I keep hearing about this amazing gelato nearby so that's gonna be after my pasta trip it's been a fun filled three days so far this is my fourth day and um, it's 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 amazing here amazing food the people especially the cars I've been showing you some crazy automobiles um, the yachts the money here is unreal but uh, 
what a day. I had to take in a day like this and just go see some of the sights and come way up here to see, obviously, the view because this is just mind-blowing. This is uh, a definite treat for today. So what a heck of a way to end my last day but seeing stuff like this, you know? Flying home tomorrow. Um, be home tomorrow night. Crazy, huh? Yeah, See you guys soon. Look at this crap. I opened my suitcase for five minutes and there's cats in it already. Get out of there! Get off my clothes! You guys are pathetic. Get off my clothes. You're getting full of hair. Bad enough, I gotta have them cleaned. They don't give a f